And I'm gonna tell you, no one embodies girl power more than the young women I have with me today. Legit superheroes. I'm so excited for you to meet my girls, Sonali and Turi Palmway from the Girls Opportunity Alliance, who are two insanely inspiring students from India and Namibia. They face challenges getting an education even before COVID-19. And their resilience this past year is nothing short of remarkable. We also have someone else pretty special with us too, my forever first lady, Michelle Obama. Um, as always, she's been a champion for education and she started the Girls Opportunity Alliance at the Obama Foundation to empower adolescent girls to learn because real talk, our whole world would be better if they were educated. So Mrs. Obama, how are you doing? Happy Women's History Month. Well, same to you, Lily. It's great to see you and it's great to be here with these amazing young women like you. I was blown away by their stories of resilience, but what you and I know are there are millions of girls like these two young women around the world who are finding a way during these tough times to continue to get their education. Um, so I'm so proud of them and, and I am so grateful to Pop Sugar for bringing us all together. Uh, and my hope is that we will use this time to just lift each other up. I couldn't agree more. Let's dive right in because I wanna hear from these women as well. So Nali, let's start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about where you're from, what grade you're in at school and about your family? Hi everyone. I'm very happy to be here. And thank you so much for giving me a such a big opportunity. I'm from Kolkata, India. I'm in class 10 at school. We live in a small room with my mom, my father, my brother Ashutosh, and my cat. What has school been like during COVID-19? Our school was closed all year and they did not contact us and we did no study. I don't know how can I keep learning at all and some people don't have enough money to get their phone recharged and to practice online. You also got support from Her Future Coalition, right? During, for education? Yes, Her Future Coalition um, uh, sponsored my tu tutoring and they gave us a computer to for our library. And if they did not support me, I, I maybe lost my whole year. And Lily, we have talked about this so much. So many of the challenges that face uh, young girls around the world as they're trying to get an education. So when we're in this time of lockdown, and you know, I know that there are kids in, in, in the U.S. that you know, where parents are worried, what's going to happen to them? How are they, they continuing to learn at home? Uh, with uh, them no longer having access to their classrooms and their teachers. The same thing is true for these young women in India and in Africa, except the challenge becomes, will these schools ever open up again? And that's one of the reasons why these girls' stories are so important. Absolutely, I, I couldn't agree more. I definitely, the thing that's shining through the screen to me is just the resilience, the resilience mm. and courage and just fighting for education, which is something we definitely take for granted. There's so many obstacles, especially with the pandemic, which is why I'm, I'm so truly glad from the bottom of my heart that you have these local organizations and the Girls Opportunity Alliance supporting girls just like this. Ms. Obama, you were speaking to this as well about how your parents were real advocates for your education too. Is that correct? And the importance of that cannot be stressed enough because a lot of people don't have that privilege. Right, right. And as we learn in some cultures, uh, that people don't think that a girl, educating a girl is, is, is worth it. So yes, it is absolutely important for parents out there, particularly fathers, to right. show their daughters that they believe in, in enough in them and that they value them enough to make sure that they get the same opportunities that their sons get. And I was fortunate enough to come from that household. I have an older brother who I love dearly. He is smart and, and, and gifted, but everything that my father taught my brother to do, he taught me to do. And if it had not been for that kind of support, I wouldn't be sitting here today. I, I mean, I love everything you just said, and this is where I get super nerdy and passionate about things. I think the two major takeaways of what you said are, you know, one is 
educating girls benefits the entire world in so many different ways. It does not just positively impact girls. It will have a ripple effect and then affect communities and countries and the world. And two is that boys, men are definitely part of the conversation. Sonali's oh. got her finger up. So she's yeah, got Sonali, her, she's go got for it. Please, we'd love to hear from you. Actually, I think girls are almost like magic and they have mm. good sense that combines mind and heart and then mm. they can help to fix planets. It's true, you know, women, girls, we, we provide a special something in the world. Um, you know, a unique combination of intellect and nurturing and warmth uh, and compassion. Not to say that men and boys don't have that too, but we all, you know, are put on this earth for something special in life. Right. And if we don't invest in the specialness in all of us, in all of our children, you know, we're, we're missing out on half the value that, you know, is out there in the world. So Sonali, I think you made, I think that was an amazing point that you made. <laughs> Absolutely. So now, Mrs. Obama, what are the next steps? Let's, let's do some real talk. What more can we do? And our audience that's watching, what can we do to support girls like these two wonderful ladies right here? What are the action items? Well, first, we have to educate ourselves about the issues. And the second thing is that we have to figure out what ways can we individually make have an impact? Because all impact is important and not everybody can make the same impact. Some out there can write big checks. And yes, big checks help provide resources for organizations like these. But there are young girls in communities right now that can do a bake sale or they can, you know, they can collect dollars and cents because every little amount counts. But the one thing that I think we can all do is to learn about the challenges right in our own backyards because while there are issues happening all around the world, each of us, I don't care whether you live in the United States or whether you live in Australia or in Africa, I don't care what continent you live on, there is, there is a girl or a community of young women that could use our help. We're gonna do a little lightning round where I'll ask you some quick questions about school and you all have to say the first thing that pops into your head. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh -huh. ready. So first question is, and we'll start with uh, you, uh, Terry Palmway. Favorite subject in school? Biology. Sonali. English. Mrs. Obama. Creative writing. Okay, now let's talk about homework. Be honest with me, okay? Procrastinate or get it done early. Terry Palmway, what do you think? Get it done early. Wow, can't relate. Okay, Sonali, what about you? <laughs> get it done early, of course. Mrs. Obama, did you also get it done early? Get it done early. Oh, I, I still have procrastination nightmares, Lily. I mean, I am that kid. I, you know, when, when I'm stressed, I have this recurring dream that I waited too long and I procrastinated on an assignment and the year goes on and I just get further and further behind until it's time to, I still have that dream today. So I do not procrastinate. I am so sorry, girl. Yeah, yeah, no, no same, same. I'm, I'm glad we're all on the same, same exact page. Um, okay, what about, what would you rather face, a pop quiz or an essay? Terry Promway, what do you think? An essay. Oh, okay, Sonali, what about you? Pop quiz. <laughs> essay all the way. 100%, <laughs> same here, same here. Um, favorite school club or activity outside the classroom, Mrs. Obama? Student government in high school. I was class treasurer. Ooh, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Sonali, what about you? Karate. Wait, didn't I read that Sonali's got some crazy hard red belt, belt or something? Yeah, red, red belt. belt. She was teaching I didn't even know there red was a red belt. belt. She, I told her when we all hang out, she's on security duty. Uh, Terry Palmway, what about you? Favorite activity out of the classroom? Debate. Debate. Ooh, that was fun. All right. Yes. What's the one thing you do to motivate yourself when you're nervous or scared to do something? Mrs. Obama. What do I do to motivate myself? I think about the, the, the long-term goal, you know? I think, is it easier to give up because something is hard or will I be more satisfied and happy with myself if I just push through? Sonali, what about you? I like to dance and 
um, do exercise. <laughs> Turn for me. What about you? Um, I pray and I sing. Mm. Oh, that's right. You're singing. We got some vocals. Okay. What now? With the final question is one piece of advice for students. This is Obama. Don't let failure keep you from trying to do things that you want to do. We all fail in life. You you don't achieve success without some form of failure. So I want you to I want students to always work hard and to do their best. But to Ripamwe, like your mother says, when you don't uh, succeed the first time, there's always the next opportunity, right? And you want to keep yourself motivated to try again. Okay. Absolutely. I could not agree more. Failure is part of the process. It cannot happen without failure. Uh, Sonali, what about you? I like to say that let's all say, say yes to girls more often they're in their life. And mm. they, they need to hear this and don't let discourage other, other people. Wow. Excellent. Beautiful. Uh, Trey Pomway, what about you? Um, I would say the obstacles and challenges you face today, don't let them bring you down, but let them be your push for so you to keep working harder. Thank you all so much for such an inspiring discussion. I feel rejuvenated. I feel just, I, I feel like I've taken so much light from both of you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, now, this may be Women's History Month, but I'm feeling really good about our future after hearing from you all. And Ms. Obama, any last words about your hopes for these remarkable young women uh. and the girls? around the world watching. Well, Sonali and Turi Pamwe, I'm so proud of you. You are articulate, poised, and uh, gracious individuals. Your communities and your families should be incredibly proud. Let us remember that there are millions of young women like you out there, uh, and let's find them, and let's continue to lift them up and give them opportunities to use their voice for change. Go girls! <laughs>